Hi everyone. Hope you all are good. We are here for grade six maths. You can find all the lessons on aplstudents.com. You have to log in there using your email address and password is provided by the administrator. Then you have to select math from the subject tab. Scroll down to grade 6 maths. And then click on view all lessons. So there you can find a list of the chapters. We're going to start with the chapter symmetry and transformations. And the lessons we're going to cover today are similar and congruent finger figures. Then rotations graph the image. Then we'll start the chapter consumer math and the lessons we're going to cover are unit prices with customary unit converse, conversions, percents, calculate tax, step markup, and more. So let's just start with the first lesson that is from the chapter symmetry and transformations. So here we are on grade six maths. The chapter we're working on is symmetry and transformations. Let's just start with the lesson that is similar and congruent figures. Okay, let's just start with the first lesson. Okay, are these two figures related? They are congruent. What does they are congruent means they are same shape and same size. If two shapes are same say shape and same size, that means they are congruent. Got it? They are congruent. Okay, the next one is are these two are these how are these figures related again they are congruent because they are on the same shape and same size let's just start with the test questions okay how are these two figures related they are neither similar nor congruent got it they are neither similar nor congruent they are different two different shapes Okay, how are these figures related? They are They are both round, but they are different shapes. They are similar, but not congruent. Congruent. Okay, how are these figures related? They are congruent, congruent, they are exactly same shape and same size, so they are congruent. How are these figures related? They are similar but not congruent because they are of different size. size. How are these figures related?
they are neither similar nor congruent they are two different shapes how are these figures related they are similar but not congruent got it they are different sizes congruent is the one they have same shape and same size got it okay how are these figures related they are two different shapes so they are then neither similar nor congruent how are these figures related they are congruent same shape and same size Okay, how are these figures related? They are similar, but not congruent because they have different sizes. How are these figures related? Yes, they are exactly two different shapes, so neither similar nor congruent. Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. Let's just move on to the next lesson. And the next lesson is rotations, graph the image. So we're going to learn how do we rotate the image. Graph the image of rectangle QRST after a rotation of 180 degree clockwise about the origin when 80 degrees is half of a full turn so the rotation will be will turn the rectangle half of a full turn into clockwise Rotate point Q 180 degree clockwise around the origin. The point will move from quadrant 3 to 1. To find the extra exact location, imagine 0, 0 and Q forming opposite corners of a box. Rotate the box from, okay, basically you have to rotate it to 180 degrees. Got it? So you have to, it would be at the same position like this from when you move it here. Just have to count the columns 1, 2, 3 four five six basically they have exactly the same values from here to here got it Graph the image of rectangle JKLM after rotation to 70 degree clockwise around the origin. 
so basically you have to rotate the rectangle by what 270 degrees basically 270 degrees mean three-fourth of a turn got it so it would be then rotated from first quadrant to clockwise direction or anti it would be in the clockwise direction got it so it would be rotated from third quadrant to first quadrant got it it is very small difficult to read you just have to understand the rotations 90 degree rotation means it would be one fourth rotation so where here is the this one is the original image you have to rotate clockwise so when you move clockwise it would be moved from here to here then in the first quadrant oh, oh. you have to rotate clockwise turn you have to move from here to here it would be from second term to quadrant to third quadrant got it okay just skip this lesson because it is too small so that we can read let's just move on to next lesson we're going to start a new chapter that is consumer math so let's just move on to new chapter you can simply skip this lesson okay the next one is consumer math let's just start with the lesson okay start with the first lesson unit prices with custom with customary unit conversations conservation conversations conversions sorry Okay, a two quart carton of frozen yogurt cost $8.24. What is the price of per pint? So basically, you are it is two quart carton, and the price of the two quart carton carton is $8.24. You have to calculate the answer in the pint. Basically, you have to do a conversion here from quart to pint. Got it? So we know that in one quart we have two pints. So they are two quart just converted into pints. You can skip this lesson if it is so small or either you can follow from the book because it is too small to read. So it would be you have to convert from quarts to pints first. We know that in one quart you have two pints. So let's just convert from quarts to pint first. It would be two times two. So that means two quarts equals four pints got it so two quarts is same as four pints so you can divide 8.24 basically that here you have two quarts so 8.24 is exactly the price of the four pints just divided by the pints it would be 2.06 that means the price of the one pint would be 2.06 okay let's just do practice questions Quart is a unit of measuring things. Quarts and pints both are the units of measuring things. Like you measure things in kilograms. So same is the quarts is a unit. Okay, let's just start with the first lesson. A three quart carton of ice cream cost $22.08. What is the price of per cup? Okay, just see the conversion here. You have to convert from quarts to cup first because you have to calculate the answer. Yes, like metric conversions, that is the unit. So here you have to convert from quart to cup first and then you have to calculate the ice cream of the cost of the one cup. So how do we convert from quarts to cup? We know that one quart equals four cups. You have to memorize these, learn these conver conversions. One quart equals three cups. Four cups, sorry.
वन क्वार्ट इक्वल फोर कप्स सो हाउ मेनी कप्स यू आर गिवन हेयर यू आर गिवन हेयर थ्री क्वार्ट्स सो यू कैन कन्वर्ट थ्री क्वार्ट्स टू कप्स सो इट वुड बी थ्री टाइम्स फोर इक्वल ट्वेल्व कप्स दैट मीन्स थ्री क्वार्ट्स एंड ट्वेल्व कप्स आर एग्जैक्टली इक्वल गॉट इट नाउ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द प्राइस पर कप सो जस्ट डिवाइड ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो एट बाई ट्वेल्व गॉट इट बिकॉज यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द प्राइस ऑफ दी वन कप सो ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो एट डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व लेट मी जस्ट कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू इट वुड बी वन पॉइंट एट फोर दैट मीन्स द प्राइस ऑफ दी वन कप ऑफ आइसक्रीम इज वन पॉइंट एट फोर डॉलर्स Okay, which is the better buy? Three yard roll of wrapping paper for eleven point ninety seven, or eight foot roll of wrapping paper of twelve point seven, twelve point ninety six. So you need to see which up is the better buy. Basically, here you have to convert from yard. You need to see the relationship between yard to foot. So one yard equal three feet. You can note them. Note these conversions and then learn them. One yard equal. One yard equal three feet. Got it? Let's see which is the better option. Here you have three yard, so that means three times three is nine. Got it? So divide eleven point nine seven by nine. Eleven point nine seven divided by nine is one point three three, and twelve point nine six divided by eight is. One point six two. So yes, eight foot roll of wrapping paper is better buy. No, three yard would be a better buy because it is one point three three. When you divide three yards, three yards equal nine feet. When you divide eleven point seven by nine, that would be one point three three. So option number one is the correct option. Because you need to calculate the price of the unit price, you have to calculate the price is given for the twelve yards. You have to calculate the price of one yard, and if the if the one yard price is, you need to see which conversion is better. So the better one is the one that has the less price. So option one is the better one. You have to divide the number by the nine because three yards equal. Nine feet. So you have to divide eleven point something is the value by nine because you need to calculate the price of the one yard. Unit price means you are given the prices of more than one thing. Unit price means you have to calculate the price of one thing. Got it? Like you can see here, a two-gallon bottle of bleach costs nine point six eight. What is the price of per quart? Per quart means you have to calculate the price of one quart. Got it. First, you are going to convert from gallons to quart. One gallon equal four quarts. Basically, one gallon equal four quarts. Here you have two gallons, so two gallons equal. Two times four equal eight gallons. That means this is the price of the eight gallons. You have to calculate the price of one gallon. So you have to divide nine point six eight by one. Nine point six eight by eight because you need to calculate the price of one gallon. That would be one point twenty one. 
got it you have to divide 9.68 by 8 because you need to calculate the price per quart it would be 1.21 so the correct option is 1.21 Okay, a two gallon bottle of fabric softener cost $16.96. So what is the price per cup? You need to calculate the price of the one cup. One gallon equals 16 cups, so you have two gallons. So two gallons equal 16 times two. That would be 32 cups. Got it? So just divide 16.96 divided by 32 because you need to calculate the price of one gallon, one cup. Got it? 16.96 divided by 32 so it would be 0 0.53 so the correct option is 0 0.53 got it it would be 0 0.53 Okay, the next one is gallons to pints. One gallon equal eight pints. So you have three gallons, it would be three times eight, three times eight is 24 pence. So that means three gallons equal 24 pence. So you have to divide the value by 24. 12.48 divided by 24, got it? It would be 0 0.52. That means the price of per cup paint is 0 0.52. Okay, a two yard piece of aluminium wire costs 13, 3.18. What is the price per foot? So basically that is a conversion from yard to foot. One yard equal three feet. Got it. One yard equal three feet. So here you have two yards. It would be 2 times 3 equals 6. So divide this value by 6. It would be 5.53. So the correct option is 5.53.
Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. Let me just move on to next lesson. And the next lesson is person calculate tax step markup and tax. Let's just start with the first lesson. Ben bought a blender online. It costs $26 plus 25% shipping and handling. What was the original cost? Basically, the cost of the blender is $26 and 25% is shipping. 25% is the that is the cost 25% of cost so you need to calculate the 25% of 26 got it how do we calculate 25% of 26 you have to mark 25% equals 0 0.25 just multiply 0 0.25 by 26 it would be 6.50 that means on 26 dollars blender you have to pay 6.50 shipping so the total money you have to pay is 26 plus 6.50. That means they, this is $32.50 that he have to pay. Got it? Let's just start with the test questions. Okay, Nick Nichols' bill for brunch at a restaurant is $64. She left a 15% tip. What was the total cost of her brunch including? Last 25% means you have to add the 25% to the original cost. Like for this one, $64 is the price of the branch and 15% tip. You have to add tip to 64 First, you have to calculate 15% of 64. That means you have to do 0 0.15 times 64. That would be 9.6. That means on $64, he have to pay 9.6 tip. So the total cost he have to pay is 64 and plus the tip that would be 9.6 so it would be 73.60 so the, that means the amount he have to pay is 73.60 option number one is the correct option okay ben bought a blender online cost $26 plus 25% means you have to pay 25% on 26 so you have to calculate shipping it would be 26 point 26 times 0 0.25 that would be 6.5 that means when he have to pay 26 plus 6.5 that is means 26 plus 25 percent got it it would be 32.50 that means the total amount he have to pay is 32.50 
Okay, the next one is Luke's bill for dinner at restaurant is $64. He left an 18% tip. What was the total cost? So that is the bill he have to pay and that is the tip. So he paid 18% of 64. So just calculate 18% of 64. You have to calculate 18% of 64. You have to do 0 0.18 times 64. 0 0.18 times 64. That means it would be 11.52. It would be 60. That means the total amount he have to pay is 64 plus 11.52 that would be 75.52 so the correct option is 75.52if the sales tax is 10%, what will, will be the cost including tax? So the co price swimsuit cost $21 and the tax is 10%. You have to calculate 10% of 21. 10% of 21, it would be 0 0.10 times 21. That means on $21 swimsuit, he have to pay 2.51% tax. Just add the tax into that means that then the total cost of the same suit is 21 plus 2.1. It would be 23.1. Got it? The correct option is 23.1. That is option number one. Brooke buys a guitar for priced at $72. Shipping and handling are an additional 20% of the price. So that means you have to calculate 20% of 72. It would be 0 0.2 times 72. That is 14.14. So you have to do how much shipping that it is 14.4 that means the shipping you have to pay on 72 dollars is 14.40 Edward bought an atlas online it cost 39 dollars plus 10 percent shipping so you have to calculate 10 percent of 39 got it it would be 3.9 that means the total amount he have to pay is 39 and plus that is the shipping cost it would be 42.90 so that means the total amount he have to pay is 42.90 Ezra earns 20% commission as a salesperson. He sold a crystal was for $68. How much commission? So he have to you have to calculate 20% of 68. It would be 13.60. That means the commission he have on was is 13.60.
Viras bill for a lunch is $74. She left 15% tip. You have to calculate 15% of 74. It would be 0 0.15 times 74. That is 11.1. So that means that tip he have to pay on $74 is 11.10. Got it? Okay, you can complete the test by yourself later today. So we were working on grade 6 maths. Chapter we, work, we have started with the symmetry and transformations and the lessons we have covered are similar and congruent figures, then rotations, graph the image. Then we've started a new chapter that is consumer math. Lessons we have covered are unit prices with customary conversions and percents calculate tax tips and markup and more. So please make sure before the next session you have to complete the lessons we did today. So if you need more help with any of the lesson, you can contact any tutor on the Skype. They are available from Monday to Friday, 5 to 9. So if you have any question, please ask. I am here to answer all your questions and confusions if you have any. Okay, that's all for today. See you in the next session. Bye, everyone.